Oh yeah. Alright, for sure. You cannot go in there. So what would you do if I do? Business. You may end up getting arrested. No, uh, so are you saying if I go in there, are you going to arrest me? I didn't say that. Okay, well, then I'll I'm going to I'll tell go. you what, my boss will be here, Secretary of State Sergeant, wants you wait outside till he gets here, you can talk to him. I'm not going to wait outside. Tyrant Terminator. What's good, TTA family? Back at y'all with another one. Man, today we at the DMV out in Deerfield, Illinois. Getting ready to see if they respect our rights to record in public. And to make sure that our rights are not infringed on by anyone at any time. Let's go see. I think it's another part to this next door. It's another part to this one. It's a bigger space. But they got like two different, two different apartments. Yeah. Re I can't hear you. Really? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure I, I'm within the legal. Really? Are 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 you um? Really? Uh, can I have a dialogue with you? Well, this is I'm all I'm doing is I'm an independent journalist, and I'm gathering content for a story on this DMV. So I'm, I'm this is my fish. Huh? Gotta shut that off. Bro. Well, this is my First Amendment right, sir. You, you can't. You're not... Like I went, I went through this already in, in the city of Waukegan, and I was. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to do what I'm here to do. It's, it's, I'm within the legal limits of my rights. Okay, that'll be great. So they say um, there's no recording. However, this is a public building. Uh, you guys already know it's First Amendment right to be able to record public employees in the course of their duties. Say they're going to call a supervisor out. So we'll see once the supervisor comes out. Oh, uh, Karen. Wow, Karen, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. actually. So would it be great? You know what? It would be. Hold on, sir. People's personal information is here. Okay. You can't film it. Would you want somebody filming your personal information? Real, real, real quick, Karen. I'm, okay, real, 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 real quick. Yeah, I uh, understand. Yeah, you, you, like you said, we've been through this, correct? Yes. So you are familiar when Walt Keegan came. They said I had a right to do it. Yes, and he got in trouble because he Total was wrong. Trouble. Because I called the... Bootlicker. Uh, He's now yeah. calling the customer's did you, names. Did you hear him call me a jerk? He, he said something to him. Also. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. But thank that you. doesn't mean he you answers you can't, back. You can't, I can't answer back. You can't, <laughs> not, wow. you can't record on the property there. Well, as you can see. And I know when you went to Waukegan, I we did, I think I one of us, I can't remember if it was me, I think I showed up after Waukegan after was, gone. was gone. I don't think you did. After yeah, Waukegan and yeah, you were you gone. Yeah, you were already I gone. Did. You had walked out the back. You were. Okay, so let me, let me just get this right. What's your name? Shemansky. Officer Shemansky? Are you, oh, you're not an officer? He yeah, is an officer. Okay. Well, I'm just a Okay, and what's your badge number? 
919. 919. So you're saying even though Waukegan told me I have a right to do it, which I already know I do, no, by I'm the First Amendment, it's a constitution. This is a public building. I understand, but it's a government facility and they have personal information in there. I'm not recording any personal but information. You, but you can't record in there for the man, zone manager. This is this. What's amazing is this is the same young lady that was at the other site where she was educated that I could. But I wasn't so there, because I called the chief of police and you can call him in Waukegan and that officer got in trouble because he's incorrect. I also called the court <coughs> and a lawyer and he was incorrect. You cannot film inside this building. Really? Really? Even though you was told I could. That's the yeah, part that he I'm... Made, that's, he made a mistake. He, he did not... He, he did... He had... Because I asked him where he got the information. Uh -huh. He says, I Googled it. No, because it was two officers that day. Yeah, the other one said nothing. The other one stood back. You can go back and look at your film. He said not a word. So let me ask you... the one guy. Okay, let me just incorrect. ask this officer. Uh, basically, uh, you, you took an oath to, to uphold the Constitution. Uh, what's, what's your question to me? Okay, basically, I need to my, get back okay, we got to get back to work. You, you can't record in there. Well, I'm gonna come in and record. I'm, no, I'm, you're not. I am. I'm definitely am because okay. I have a First Amendment right to do it. You can't. I'm not going to let person, you guys and friends on my rights. Personal information in the building. And I'm promising not to record people's personal information. You I'm just. just you, I'm just going to stay in the public accessible areas. I'm not going to record any if you're computers. You're not in there for business. You can't be in there. I'm in there for business. Thank you. I no, just you're told not. you. I am. No, you're not. We had this discussion. I, I am in there. No, this we didn't have this discussion today. We had one in Waukegan, and purportedly you're a reporter. That's correct. I told you, reporters don't get to just walk in and film. They have to contact communications and set up with communications filming. We've been through I, I, this. I'm, I'm, you can't I'm, just go in and I, film. I can't believe that you are, uh, you are the same young lady that was educated in... I wasn't Nothing's educated. changed. He got educated afterwards. You're not allowed okay. in here. Okay. Well, officer, uh, what's your name again? I already told you once. Well, can you call a supervisor? Because I'm going to come in and record. You, 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 you can't come in and record, sir. What, what can you, what can, like I said, can you call your supervisor? I tried. I didn't get in touch with him. So what? I'll tell you what. As soon as I get in touch with him, I'll, put, I'll get you his number. You well, how long contact. am I supposed to wait around for that? As soon as I can get in touch with him. Because now my rights are being infringed on. I'm not going to allow that. You, you can't come in here and record. They don't, if you're not in here doing Secretary of State business, Karen said you're, they don't want you in here. Okay. But she don't have a right to tell me I can't come in, sir. That's what I'm saying. You you are law enforcement. Enforce the law. Want in there, correct? Correct. Well, I'm coming just, in. I'm, I'm going to come they in. They don't want you inside. But I'm going. Do you, you, you get what I'm saying? I'm I not going to let saying, nobody. You know what I'm, saying. I'm not going to let cannot, nobody infringe on you, my rights, sir. You can sir. record me all you want to hear, but you can't come in there and record because there's personal sensitive information on the customers. I'll get you a supervisor. Just give me a second. Let me try and get in touch with one. And then I'll get you the number and you can contact them. I, I feel like that's a that's just a runaround, sir, to it's, get me I'm, to I'm, to, to yep, get me to stop doing what I'm doing. Are you trying to get in there? Because I'm, I'm because I'm telling you, if, if I'm not allowed to do this, then it's going to come down on you and her personally, sir. If my rights are going to be infringed on, we're talking about constitutional rights. Just can't just can't tell me I can't do something that I'm um, that's constitutionally protected. Just because she feels that way, and it's it's amazing. That this, this is the same Karen lady that was there, educated by the Waukegan Police Department at the Waukegan DMV. This something is shocking. Obviously, something <laughs> obviously happened after you left when she spoke to Waukegan. I wasn't privy to that conversation. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. I, I, Waukegan, Waukegan came and educated her. But no, they didn't. Waukegan. I was there. Yeah, but he was wrong. He's not wrong. He's he law was. enforcement. He was forcing the law. Okay, he's law enforcement too, and he I'm just gonna told get, you. He wants to speak to my Think about it. You, I gotta find one. You guys said you guys said there's oh, no recording well, because there's a policy, right? I they, gotta find the super. Yeah. I just can't get. The there's a policy not to record, right? Yes, because that's exactly right. But it's not a law. <laughs> that's yeah. what I'm saying. But it's all, you, you, you cannot film in here. Okay. You can't. Uh, well, we'll see what the supervisor of uh, the cops say. Yeah. We're definitely going to see. I, I will tell you that, and I think it was Elkhorn, but it could have been Schomburg. One of the people similar to you that were doing this got arrested. Okay. So well, know. we'll see. We definitely will see. I, I don't know. I was just sitting there. Definitely going to see because uh, this is ridiculous, man. I can't believe that this is the same Karen <laughs> at the same spot. This is amazing, man. TTA viewers is going to love this one. This is crazy.
give you my boss's number. You can call. What, no, who is he? Sergeant. Uh, Said you want to speak to a supervisor? He's in the office. Well, I mean, I need I need somebody on scene because well, uh, we're with us. We're all over the place, so they're in Villa Park. Okay, so what? what, what and this is the city of Deerfield, right? Yeah. So I mean, even the, um, even the Deerfield, Deerfield doesn't have on the inside. It's it's our gig. On the inside, what you mean? Well, on the inside, because out inside the Secretary of State, outside is. Deerfield. You can record outside. I, why don't you call my sergeant? He can. I, I mean, I, I'm not really in the likes of wanting to call your sergeant. I you mean, said you the, wanted a supervisor's number, so I'm getting you one. No, I didn't say I didn't want the number. I said I wanted them on site to, well, to, I, I, for my, somebody, my somebody of appropriate authority to tell me that I can't uh, well, basically uh, exercise inside, my rights. A, when you go inside, it's a different story because then it's Secretary of State. They rent the facility here. Okay, which is you want a Deerfield supervisor here? I'll call Deerfield see if they can someone down. Yeah, that, you know what? That'd be great. Because Why don't you just, call? Because my to make boss sure. can educate you on the Secretary of State stuff. I, I, I don't need an education, sir. I, I think that the, uh, public employees here and you guys need the education because I know exactly what I'm doing. I know this is within my rights to do. Uh, I don't know the number. We want to just kind of let it, let no one infringe you on. You got to remember correct? when you got personal information there. Would you want someone coming and videoing your personal information? That's just it. I wouldn't do it. I, I wouldn't go well, in there and video it. You wouldn't do it, but you're in here doing it. I, I videoed somebody's personal information today. You said you wouldn't do it, but you're in there, and I, how do I know if someone gives their information out? Because, like, this gentleman here, you don't know his name. He doesn't know my name. He doesn't well, he'd know my name if he saw my badge. Right, but, but, but there's no expectation to privacy in public, sir. You know that, don't you? 8636. You're law enforcement. No you should enforce the law. Privacy, you're but when you're talking in there and they ask you, is this your name or are you still living here? Then you go, then you got the privacy issue. Let me call Deerfield. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get Deerfield out here, man, to see what's going on. Show up. I, don't know. I mean, right. Hopefully they do. What's up? So, yeah, this is one, this is one part of the DMV. Um, there's another part right here. Windows are real dirty, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see once Deerfield. Hopefully, Deerfield shows up. This is ridiculous, man. Oh man, this is just extremely ridiculous. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. Yeah, you don't want to call my boss, sir? Um, I don't see the need to. I mean, if he was, if he just come down, obviously you you've conveyed to them what I was doing. It's well, not illegal. He, so. he said he talked to you. Your boss said, I, "Yeah, I know." I'm just saying, but obviously you told him what I was doing, and that's obviously well, it's a not fine illegal. Line on, the, on the inside stuff, like I said, because of the personal information. Yeah, but so it's, Deerfield's going to be here. Sit tight outside before you go in. See what they say. Well, I'm I'm, I'm still I'm definitely going to go in. But you got to remember, if you cause an issue inside with staff, what type of issue? I'm just saying, if there's an issue cause. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be. It's gonna be recorded, so you can't uh, turn. You can't turn a, a, a First Amendment right into gonna, a crime. If there's gonna be an issue with recording causing a disturbance in there. It's not well, gonna why be. Why don't it's we not just gonna, wait it's out not here? It's not gonna be a disturbance. Why don't we just wait out here till Deerfield gets here? Well, I'm gonna go on this side, yeah, man. I, I, this is this is. The, I got obviously. I won't gotta, be in this. Uh, Karen's over there. I'll stay over here. Karen's rotating back and forth. Well, I'm just saying. I'll, I'll make sure not to come over to this side. These employees haven't told me I couldn't come in there this so, so we'll wait to see. Okay. Yeah, no, you have a First Amendment right to. Nah, they, well, they're just telling me that I couldn't record. Are you are you a supervisor or something? No, I'm just registered. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so this is the other side of the DMV. It's pretty packed over here. Uh, Real packed over here is extra small over there. So it's just weird, man, that you know that this I was the same Karen. And here she is here. Is there a camera Yeah. Turn the camera off, please. They're situating that now. We just I just had a dialogue with Karen. Is that you guys' supervisor? No, sir. This is my first amendment right to record in public. Yeah, this is it's public, sir. It's public. I'm an independent journalist. I'm just gathering content for a story. That's all. There's a lot of That's all. Sure. Yeah. We're going to go outside and talk. Go outside and talk? Yeah.
For what? If you don't have any state business, you can't be in here reporting. I just talked to another supervisor. So, so if I don't, I gotta have state business in order yeah. to record. So if I did have state business, record. I could record. Why don't you call my supervisor here? We gotta come outside, come on. Outside the lobby. They don't want you. You can't report as a personal information. Sir, don't you understand that? This, this is this is a this is an, a direct infringement, sir. Are you are you you're law enforcement? You can't enforce right. their policy. You, if you're not on business in there, you can't be in there. I, I do have official business. In What's there. your official business with the state? I'm of Illinois. conducting a story, sir. Then if you're I'm at work a story right now, like like she told you, you have to call media relations or whatever it's called and set something up. Now you don't have to call anybody for freedom, sir. That's, I understand. You know what I mean. But the state policy, you got to call somebody for media relations. Well, uh, I, I, like I say, man, it's, it's probably best you guys get to you know Deerfield out here, man, because they're coming down. So just this, like I asked you the first time, if you could just wait outside till they get here, you can talk to the Deerfield supervisor. This is a direct violation of the Constitution, sir. Okay. Well, then you can talk to Deerfield also. See what they have to say. I gave you the opportunity to contact my boss. Yeah, but your boss, I, you talked to him today, right? Your, your sergeant. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he didn't say I was doing anything nefarious or it had any ill intent. Why today, don't you right? call my boss? And I got his number for you. Like an, I said. For what? It's purposeless. What I'm calling him for? Because when you're on the inside, it's Secretary of State property on the inside. State, outside, right? State property. Sec yeah, state right. property. State right. property. So what? Which makes it public, correct? Can we agree but on when that? You're in there. When you're in there, I'm not going to agree on anything. When you're oh, in there, there's okay. personal information. Okay. Well, I, well, I'm not recording personal information. But when you're in there, there's personal information given out. I don't know what you're recording. If, Just stand in a public accessible area. If, if you don't have state business, they do not want you in there. State business for driver's license or vehicles. Oh, wow. Title, or they came in titles or registration. Oh, yeah, for sure. Appreciate that, man. Hey, we the people, brother. We the people, man. Man, for sure. So, uh... Still got, still got Karen walking around, trying to infringe on we the people, man. Uh, this is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. And this guy, this guy is telling me to call some number to ask for freedom. <laughs> I uh, think not, man. We're just going to wait till uh, Deerfield PD show up, man. We're gonna, someone has to get an education, and uh, I'm not going to go for any of it, so we'll see. And they have arrived. The show arrived. All right, for sure. Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate that. How you doing, officer? You mean with me? You're a sergeant? You're a sergeant? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, what's your name and badge number? Greg Hurry, 3900. All right, appreciate that. This is the situation, right? I'm here today at the DMV. I'm just exercising my First Amendment right to record in public for a possible publication, a story that I'm working on here. Um, not this young man particularly, but the, another young man in there told me that it's some policy that doesn't allow it, but it's three things with a policy. Policy is not law. Policy doesn't have the force of law. And if I chose to ignore the policy, that's not breaking the law. So I tried to convey that to them. However, they, you know, the level of ineptitude here today is <laughs> astronomical. Okay. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Okay. You know, I'm, I don't have any ill intent, nothing nefarious going yeah. on, sir. Just, you don't get hit by a car just right trying to quick, peacefully quick, quick. respect, uh, exercise my rights. Go ahead, sir. Uh, is there a separate line for seniors, or it's a one line for everybody? You are That's asking the wrong person, sir. Uh, There's a separate line this is for the, seniors right here. What, what do you mean? Separate line for seniors. Is there one? This, the, this is the young man that was um, trying to enforce policy. Fair enough. And, so, and he's he's their their direct so, jurisdictional police. Yeah. I've got a phone number for media relations if you want to do an interview. Media or relations. Yeah, that's what they gave me. Now, do I, I got to call that number for, to ask for freedom. 
Are, is that, is no, that what's being? We, no, that's not what I said. Okay, what do I, what, what's the number for? If you want to do something with the facility, you can call that number. I'll give it to you, you the 217 right number. Well, that, that, and, and another and thing, you, officer. They, you can set up some type of interview with them. I don't know what they you do. That, was, like that number was given to me by the <laughs> staff there. You don't, so you don't know what it's for? It's media relations for okay. the media department for Secretary of State. Okay, let, let me just convey this to you as well. A few weeks ago, maybe about several weeks ago, I was at the Waukegan DMV. Okay. And um, a manager by the name of Karen, she she actually works here now, and she she's oh, here. Okay. You know, Waukegan came and educated everyone there that I had the first I had a First Amendment right to record in public. Okay. But told told was, them to leave me alone, and the same young that. lady is here today trying to infringe again. There was apparently <laughs> some backstory to that that she had mentioned to him. I wasn't really familiar with. Okay. Where it's, the officer and I, she talked to the chief and yada yada yada. But they don't, if you don't if you're not there on state business license ID real ID vehicle stuff they don't want mm -hmm. you inside. That's okay. just it. I'm here on official business. What's your official business with the state of Illinois other than doing your story, which is an official I'm, business? I'm at work, sir. I'm at work. So am I. And so is so, the so that's what I'm saying. You can't but infringe on my rights, sir. Here's the Karen. Here, it's, this is the Karen. Is she true. was educated just several weeks ago, and no, in fact, I to know. However, can you stop for a minute, please? You have disrupted business in there. One, you are now disrupt. disrupting business out oh, wow. here. Can you disrupt business out here? I'm yes, not, you I, can. By, by recording? Um, here's the thing. <laughs> that sounds If kinda... you are, in fact, a reporter, mm -hmm. this is communications. Okay. Contact them. They will set up a time to do what you Your need to do. Your decimal is kind of, you, yeah, you got to bring I'm it good. down a little bit. Bring it down a little bit. There's no need Wait, to scream. Get here. Well, okay. What, what, what do we need to finish today? Can, this what, all, what can this, I help this with? This is what I, you're a law enforcement officer. Yes, sir. Same thing as like I told that young man. It's law enforcement. Uh, yeah, the uniform. Yes. Yeah, the uniform. We don't we don't want you guys to get in the habit of coming to these public properties, enforcing their policy, because you guys are law enforcement, not policy enforcers. Right, right. So right. you guys sworn oath to uphold the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Me recording in public is part of the Constitution, which is the First Amendment. Unfortunately for them, fortunately for us. I would love for you to educate these people and let them know that what I'm doing is not illegal. Yeah, so what, you come in here when you're recording, is that what set alarms yeah, I'm just, off for them? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to con uh, gather so content like a, for a story. That's it. I mean, a copy it. Uh, like an audit. Is that what That's you're exactly what right? this is, sir. Sure, sure. Okay, exactly. I put it on YouTube. Yeah, you have some followers. Yeah, I've watched I got it. as well. That, sure. That, sure. And there's sure. nothing nefarious about that. Right. And you, you, you aren't. You are using yeah. profane language. With Absolutely their, their not. Or guests or Absolutely not. The, the Absolutely piece. not. Okay. All right. So you were getting, were you were you interrupting their lines of traffic or anything? You're asking questions. Absolutely or not. Okay. Not even right. a centimeter. <laughs> right. They broke the law for pushing them out. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. This, that's why he's here. Okay. You seem like a pretty nice guy, officer man. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a hurry. Hurry. Sounds hurry. Like, sounds like hurry up, but one hour. Well, you, sure. you know, and and, I, and it's kind of you know to be perfectly honest with you, I asked him to call you out here, but I didn't want to waste the resource. But it, and somebody needs to be out here to. Educate you them on what's right. You know, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, how do we resolve today? How do we, well, can, if can, he's can, not in there, are you, are you done? Are you, I'm sorry. Are you done with what you need to do? To be perfect now, uh, with that side, because I didn't know it was two sides. I know yeah, uh, that's like drivers and vehicles. I'm done with that side. I was just going to get 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 a couple more. If you're not in there on business for your license or whatever, you're you're not going inside. And I understand you're working. I get that. I respect that. We're working here, the three of us. Okay. You, you can't go in there if you're not in there on state business. Well, then, you know, if you, if you don't allow me to in there, sir, that's infringing on my First Amendment right. It is. And you're doing it right here in front of a law enforcement officer. Yeah, well, he's law enforcement, too. Yeah, yeah but I'm, I'm just saying, though, I'm just saying. What I'm saying is going to come down on you personally. Not, nothing's going to come down to me in person. It will, sir. You're no, violating not. a clearly established law, sir. You know what that means? Your qualified immunity is out of there. You, okay. That's funny? Okay. You're laughing yeah, at freedom, sir? It and liberties? Funny. It is funny. And you're a law enforcement. we've told you, if, wow. you're there, you, you, if you're not in there for business to get a license, an ID or whatever they can supply you with here, real we ID, heard, ID. I heard you. I heard that. Okay. But, then but if guess what? Me, I don't have to be there. It, apparently. I don't have to be here for that, sir. To go inside, you certainly do. Absolutely not. This is a public building. I'm not going to keep conveying this back and forth. I understand it's a public building. So I have a right but, to be here. But if you're not on business, no. I am here on business. <laughs> That's you're, just it. But your business 
for the state not recording, not doing your job as a, a reporter. Or I'm a journalist, you're, sir. A journalist. You're, you're, you're a reporter, infringing on that, sir. You, as oh. I told you, if you're a journalist, then call that number. No, 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 no. I don't have to call this number. And set something up with them, and they no, will no, no, ask no, no, for no. your credentials and whatever else you're going to do to get you uh, set up. To be perfectly honest, sir, you're, you're totally somebody misled you. Obviously, you swore an oath. I'm starting okay, to think. So, I'm starting to think you officers that swear an oath is just doing it to gain employment. Because you're not upholding the Constitution right now, sir. I'm being perfectly honest. But what I'm, I'm what being I'm honest. Is if you, <laughs> you got to be in there on state business, and that is not considered state business because you don't have an appointment. Call media relations or, or whoever they are. Officer, uh, uh, Sergeant, hurry. I, 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 you know. So, just so you understand, so this is a, an agent, a governmental agency, right? That's they, correct. They have their own jurisdictional police, which is Officer Shemansky. Okay. Right? Um, state, though, correct? Like so, so we're in the same accord, right? They, okay, they're, they're, they're part of the state process. That's sure, correct. Sure, sure. They're in Deerfield, all right. Correct. But since this is his jurisdiction here, we would be here to defer to him and assist him. So that's. But what else can I help you with, you right now? Well, here uh, in, the, in the plaza, then this is my jurisdiction. Right. right. So, You're absolutely correct. Right. Okay. Well, this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna say then, so we can, you know, moving forward. Sure. Cause a lot of back and forth. We're not getting anywhere. He said exactly. it's not gonna allow me. I said I still can do it. So what I'm telling you is, I'm gonna still go in there and do it. You cannot go in there. And so what would you do if I do? Business. You may end up getting arrested. No. Uh, so are you saying if I go in there, are you going to arrest me? I didn't say that. Okay. Well, then I'll I'm tell go. you what. My boss will be here. Secretary of State Sergeant wants you wait outside till he gets here. You can talk to him. I'm not going to wait outside, sir. I'm not going to let you, you cannot, tell me what you, I can and can't okay, do if it's not I'll breaking the law. I'll tell you this. As long as I'm not breaking the law, I'm free you, to do whatever I want to do. Disturbing staff. No, oh. By being in there. You, disturbing, disturbing. You can't. You can't label here, something dis, a disturbance you, because you, you want to. Sir. You want to go in there? There's lines down there, and there's lines down there. You don't fit the senior line because you're not 65. I'm, I, I know I'm not disabled. Then right. Think about that, right? Then if you're disabled, you still have to wait in line with these people. I just was. You have to go to the end of the line and wait. Though. Okay, so if I wait in the line, I'll be you're, allowed. They, you're not there on state business. So why would you bring up me waiting in the line, sir? What, where are you, where, where, where are you playing you're, you're games? You're playing games. That's you, sir. You just said wait in line. They don't want I said I'm going to wait in line. I still disturbed. can't go in. You're going to be disturbing the staff recording, okay? Absolutely not. Well, Like I just told you, I'm, I'm letting you guys know I'm going to go in here, record, you're gonna, you're not gonna go in here. finish up my story, and go and get out of you're here. You're going to have to wait in line if, if you think you're going to go in. Okay, well, I'm going to wait in. Well, that's what I'll do. I'll wait in line. At least follow the rules. That's the correct call, like, like, Absolutely. I'll wait in line. When my so turn comes up, up then I'll go. The line, right? There you uh, go. Fair, right. Fair enough. No, fair enough. You, you don't want the mob against you. That's correct. That's correct. So, yeah, guys, we, uh, we're going to wait in this line. Uh, we got Sergeant Harry here. Uh, we got another Deerfield police officer here. How you doing, sir? What's your name, badge number, sir? My name's Officer Carter. 1330. Uh, one, okay, I appreciate you. Thanks a lot. Uh, we're going to see what's going on, man. You know, the guy told me to wait in line, so hopefully when I get to the front of the line, there's no, uh, you know, issue. So we'll, we'll definitely see once we get to the front of the line. Again? Like I said, again, I'm here conducting journalism business. So I'm here. To the line for he told me to get in the line. Don't cut anyone. I said a line. I, I said this is a disabled senior pregnant woman. Right. Line. right. Said something about the line. I couldn't say what's the area right now. That's true. So that's why I'm here. I haven't cut anyone. Well, he he just told me something else. Yeah, I got police is here to prove it. Well, he said, long as I stand in line, I will be good to go. I believe I said they're going to check your documents, and if you're not in there on Secretary That's not State what he business, said. That's not what he what said. What documents sir. do you have to show that you have business here? I don't. I do. I have a. I have official business here because I'm recording in public, sir. First Amendment not, right. I don't care about your recording. This is what I don't care about. Well, that's all I'm doing. I'm. I'm a journalism. Okay. okay. I understand you're a journalist. Sure, I get it. Mm -hmm. But if you're not in here conducting okay. business, you as well, right? Okay. Just sir. Well, what's here, your name, sir? Everyone here is doing business. What, what's your name? What's your name? My name is James. What's yours? James what? Just James for now. You okay. don't need my. What's your name? What's your name? Just Sergeant. Yes, sir. So there's no, uh, there's no level of professionalism here. You came here being. You want to be? You're a tyrant today, sir. You're acting <laughs> like one. I know what you're doing, man. I'm, not, so if you know what I'm doing, why would you? What, you you're being you're baited doing. in now. If, yeah. you, if you're telling me I can't go in, you have don't you understand that's bait? Has, everyone has business. You're doing something. I just told you I, I got business. I know you're just conducting some sort of audit. That you there you go. So if you know that, then why would you infringe, sir? I'm not infringing. Because you know it's going to come down on you personally now. So it will. Hey, wait, your qualified immunity is going to be out of there if you further try to infringe on my rights, sir. You just 
go to you go to state buildings, public places. That's to, correct. To uh, bait people into making and, money. And, and if you want to say you? bait, use the word bait because what you you, you want to feel like you're not doing anything nefarious. No, I'm not doing anything. I'm just, you're trying to infringe on my rights right now, sir, as a supervisor. I'm not rights. That's what I'm saying. The level of ineptitude today is is is, is, is amazing. So, so, uh, so, so basically, you're not going to allow me to uh, conduct my First Amendment business in here. Is that what you're saying? As a supervisor. Okay, but what business are you doing here? <laughs> I'm gathering content for a story for okay. possible publication. So, so, let me ask you something. So, there's people with sensitive information walking around here. Okay. I'm not saying that there's any law against recording. But how would you like it if someone recorded your sensitive information and used it against you? That's what possibly could happen right here. How do I know you're not doing that? Because I'm, I'm telling you that that's not what I'm here what to do. I know you're telling me, but I don't know you. I don't okay. know you from anybody. Okay. Okay. But, okay. I don't know you from anybody. But we can't, I don't, we can't speculate. On, let me finish. So. And I can't trust you, okay? Why not? I can't speculate. No, you're right. I can't speculate. But I know that you're walking around and there's people with licenses, social security cards, DL information. Identity theft is rampant right now. Okay. okay? That's not what I'm up here doing. How do I know? You shouldn't speculate. How do, I know? How, how do, and how how do you, you know that they're, that's not what they're doing with their cameras? I'm infringing any kind of rights you're doing. You I'm are. Just, I'm protecting all these people right here and their, and their identity. You, that's protecting them from what? Identity theft. So if that's the case, why don't you go in there and tell the DMV to cut their cameras off? Because they have cameras as well, right? You can't zoom in on that information. Yes, you can. Of we course. Have that, we have that information. Everybody, you, you share that information with the employees, though. What information? These people's information? Yeah. So why are you they telling share, me? No, no, I'm saying they share that information when they come and get their IDs. What I'm saying? I don't know, but they're state, they're state employees. You're you're not you're not even a state employee. That's correct. I don't need to be one. I'm a regular citizen here trying to exercise my rights. Now, if you guys are going to keep trampling on that, then it's going to come down on you personally, sir. So you guys need to make up your mind. Either I can go in or I can't. And if I can't, it's it's, it's, it's going to be um it's going to be serious for you guys. I'm tired of playing games about it, man. It's either yay or nay. So we're gonna see what the, we're gonna see, man. One one officer told me one thing, the other telling me another. So Sergeant Heary, man, nah. no progression, man. You see how this guy told me to stand in line? I stood in line, and now they're saying I still can't go in. They're not going to get permission to go in. But do you understand? You see the game they play for 30 minutes like that, man? That's pitiful, man. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. Um, well, no. this, is, this, is, this is not my facility. I understand that. Deerfield, so, as far as right. Deerfield Polo, y'all been great, man. Y'all been you're trying to uphold the Constitution. I appreciate that. Uh, I can't say the same thing for these young men, but uh, I just want to be told that if, if I go in, I'll be arrested. Then I have standing for litigation. Then I'll leave. Okay. Because, then, yeah. That's all I'm waiting ask, on. Ask your as, I, as I told you, my yeah. friends right there, you requested a sergeant. Yeah. He actually came up. Okay. So you can go talk to him. Well, I'm going to wait till he's get off the phone. Yeah, that's but fine. I'm just saying, uh, as, as long as I'm telling him I'm gonna be, if I'm going to be arrested, if I go in, I'll leave. I'm going to have yeah. a general over here. Okay, for sure. You want me to get him for you? Yeah. Well, if he can, you know, if he convey that to me, I'm out of here. So, yeah, you know, TTA family, I'm not going to keep going back and forth with these people, man. They want to violate my rights. You know, we just put it all in court and litigate it. See what the judge and jury have to say. That qualified immunity is out of there, though, for sure. Well-established law, so we'll see. So how, what was the conclusion? Am I able to go in? or? Talk to the sergeant, like I said. I'm able to go in. I see you was on the phone for quite a while. Yeah, I got, I got business too, man. Right. So, I mean, if you don't have business here, you're putting on stuff, so where do you want to go inside? I just told you. Why would I keep going everyone, over that? Everyone here has, has business. That and I do too. Inside. You can't you can't Secretary determine what, what I got to do is not business, sir. Okay. You can't. Secretary of State business? Yeah, that's why I'm here. What is it? <laughs> to Show me the document. Gather the content and disseminate it to the public. Secretary of State's business information. That's exactly why I'm here. So that's all, that's all you're gonna do. That's it. So and you're I, gonna go in there and look at people's information. I'm not gonna look at it in people's information. I'm gonna look what's available to the public and disseminate what, it. Okay. What Whatever's exactly, available. What particularly you got pamphlets in there. I can help you out. I get you some pamphlets. I, I don't need to. I'm not disabled, sir. I don't see. I'm not, I'm not broken by the if foot. You were in the disabled line. Well, you got to calculus of ways you can be disabled. I'm not physically disabled. <laughs> oh. Yeah, physically. 
right? I right. You. There you go. So we're going to change. We're going to change it to accommodate you. Well, you guys can look at me and see I'm not physically disabled. What pamphlets are you looking for? Nah. I don't know. We gotta, I got to go in there and see what's available. I'll, I'll, I'll bring out everything you need. I don't need you to. I appreciate it, the gesture, but I don't need. I don't need any help. Okay. I just. I just want to be able to do it unmolested. Unmolested. Yeah. So if you want, if you want to get a couple pamphlets, you can go inside, get them, get the pamphlets, and come on out. Oh, if, if you don't, if you don't need. If you don't conduct any further business, and these employees um, you know, don't want you there, you're not going to be alone. You're going to have to leave. Yeah, I'm a, I, like, I, like I just told this young man in, in Deerfield Police, I, I'm, I'm just going to go in there like I've been trying to do for two hours. Gather content. Here's what, how about this? How about we and I'm this? leaving. Since you have no business, you're not getting an ID, license, or renewal of any kind, right? Not today. Okay. Why don't to bypass the line? Why don't I go in there? We'll go in there with her. I'll go in there with you together. I don't need you to babysit me, though. I don't need well, it. no, but someone that's that hasn't been in line, that's oh. cutting in line, should be escorted. Come on. Oh, well, I don't need to cut the line. I'll sit that's in the okay. back. I'll help you out. No, I don't want to cut these seniors, man. I want to respect them. Don't respect worry. my they're elders. Getting, I was getting, raised different, man. They're not getting pamphlets. Come on. Yeah, yeah but I'm, what I'm saying is I don't want to cut them. I, I, I'm telling I'm, you what, I'm, I don't want to do. I'm allowing you. No, no. It's okay. You can't it's keep... Okay. Look, you can't it's keep okay. doing that, uh, Sergeant. Do what? You can't keep just going over just go hurting people's feelings, man. You can't do that. I'm sure these people be just fine. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to cut the seniors. Let's go. I don't need to, sir. I'm going to go in there alone. Then if you're going to wait in line, you got to wait in that line. No, that's a disabled line. No, you're not coming here. Let's. We got to pick a line though to wait because we're not waiting in line. People keep coming in. Well, I'm I'm going to wait in this line, like I just was for 30 minutes, and then he kicked me out of it, (laughs) metaphorically. Wow. (laughs) You know, but but my my thing is I'm going to go in there alone. Let me let me explain to you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in there. I'm going con- to gather my content. Oh, I'm gonna be, no, I'm going to be right next to you. I'll be with but, you. you know, well, you know, I'm going to just make the story no, about you. you man. Like, I'm telling you, man, they're going to eat you up in the comments, man. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, man, they're going to, they because you, you act like a tyrant, man. I'm this not. is tyrannical I'm gonna, behavior. I'm going to, how is it tyrannical behavior? Because obviously you was just on the phone for like 30 minutes. Someone obviously you called of a higher authority. Someone had to tell you, why, why, why are your position kind of switched there? What are you talking about? 30 minutes prior to the call, it was, you're not doing it, you're not doing it. Now you're allowing me to, after the call. I could have been on phone with anybody. I'm just saying, whoever it was, your, your wife, your your, your 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 psychiatrist, your psychologist, whoever it was, someone told you, let you that young to, man exercise his rights. And, and get your pamphlets? No, nah, I don't need any help. I'll go in there alone. Okay. That's okay. We'll be right next to you. We'll be with you. Oh, you're yeah, gonna, we'll you're gonna we'll say, you I, don't, I don't need an escort. Uh, I'm a full service police officer. Full service, <laughs> minus the Constitution, if right? If there's if there's anything that these people need, I'll help them out any which way they want. So what about me? You too. So I'm that's asking you to I'm, I'm asking you to, uh, to honor your oath. Then I'm gonna go in there with you and get some pamphlets. With you. That's why I'm asking you to honor your oath. Honor your oath today. You, you, you be a, you could be a hero right now yeah, if you just yeah. turn it around and say I'm gonna honor my oath and I'm gonna uphold this man's First Amendment rights. Right. You you look great. What? When did I say you couldn't? You, like 30, 40 minutes ago, you was telling me what I couldn't. I you say? pulled up. As soon as you pulled up. What did I say? You said, man, you're never, you don't got any business here, state business. You're not going in. But you, then you retracted and said you want to get some pamphlets. You didn't say that before. Well, so I'm saying that's part on, of con- gathering let content. Let me finish. Right. So now I'm going to go in there with you and get, you get some pamphlets. Why do you need to go with me? What's the purpose of that? Huh? What purpose do that serve for you to go with me? I won't go with you then. No, no one needs I'll to. Be, I'll be inside. <laughs> that's because you're still going with me. That's not going with you. I'll be inside, I'll be inside the same Oh, place. man. Oh, man. That's what you need? There you go. Rules of the road. Well, you know what, man? Deerfield been great, man. These two officers right here have been great, man. A dialogue with this young man. A sergeant here, man. Uh, man, you know, hey, the, the thing is, man, like 30 minutes prior to the uh, when, the when the supervisor pulled up, he told me right away, you're not going in if you don't have any state business. However, he was on the phone for like 30 minutes, so someone obviously conveyed to him that I have a First Amendment right to do it because now he's allowing me to go in. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. But the thing is, he wants to babysit me while I'm in there. So he wants me to be, you know, wants to be standing can, right can, next can, to him. Can you and meet, like, meet like halfway? I like, try to, yeah. man. You know what I mean? I, I, but, I hear you. I hear you. You know, you know, I, you know, what I'm gonna do? Go I'm, inside, get, get your job no, you know what? No, and, what I'm actually going. what I'm actually gonna do okay. is I'm just gonna gather the names of everybody that was here trying to infringe, and I'm just file official complaints because uh, you know this has held sure. me up for two hours, man. You know what I mean? But you guys been great, man. You know what I mean? I was talking to uh, this yeah, officer right here, man. He from the hometown, man. So you know, it's all good, man. I appreciate you guys for upholding your oath, man. Sure, sure. Thanks a lot.
I, I'm, uh, I just need you guys' names, badge numbers. I already gave it to you once. I, I just can't pronounce it. I don't want to mess it up. And be I gave it to you. You can review the table. Okay, well, let me just get it like this. Yo, mind. Yeah, look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. I mentioned my head. <laughs> oh, my God. Shemansky. What's your name again, Sergeant? Espionosa. Did I get it right? You got it perfect. What's your, what's your badge number? 0288. 0228. So I'm just going to file a fist complaints on you guys, man, because y'all tried to come here and infringe, man. You talk about babysitting the public, man, while I conduct the First Amendment right. I, you know, there's no expectation. You, you had no business in here. Well, you weren't going to get an ID uh, license or, uh, I mean, you were going to get pamphlets. I was allowed to get pamphlets. Yeah, but you, obviously someone called you and told you I can do what I can, do, what I had a right to do. No. They had to because you, you, your, your whole position changed. But that's okay. Your that's, position changed too. No, it didn't. I said you were in the handicap line. Now you're not uh, the disabled line. Then you said you wanted business, but then you said you just wanted pamphlets. So right, that's gather. I said from the beginning. I said I wanted to gather content. Right. No. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But you, you you'll see it though. You hit that edit button right perfectly, I'm sure. You guys will see it, man. You guys will see it. They go, they, they, they're gonna be they gonna get you in the comments, man. Trust me. And I'm going to definitely file a fiscal complaint. But you know what? I, I've been here two hours. You guys held me up and fringed on my rights today. Uh, you didn't honor, honor your oath, obviously. Just, you know, swearing to an oath to gain employment. It's, it's crazy. But you guys have a nice one, man. All right, man. All right. Take care. For sure. Hey, Deerfield. Deerfield police officers, man. Thanks for you for you guys. Honoring your oath, man. Hey, y'all got to teach, teach them that. <laughs> yeah, them guys were great, man. TTA family, man. Oh, uh, man, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. You know, we got the same Karen. The same Karen that works here. She was at the Waukegan location, man. This, 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 this is crazy, but we, we're definitely going to file. We're going to definitely file an official complaint on all those officers, man. Except Deerfield. Deerfield was good. And Karen. Uh, I'm not letting it go. Every time something like this arises, I will be filing official complaints on everyone. There will be follow-ups on it all. Y'all stay in tune with me. Like, share, and subscribe. For all the TTA family that's rocking, man, I love y'all. For everybody that's new, I love y'all too. Go on.